All right, I think we are live. Good morning, Facebook. Happy Friday. Oh my goodness. Ooh, deep breath. So this is Samantha and Mary. Samantha is a mom of two in Southern California and Mary is a mom of three in Oregon. And like between us, we have seven kids. We have multiple businesses. We are moms. We are women. Like we just wanted to hop on and keep it real. And you know what? Anything goes. So if you guys have questions, I will be looking in the comments to see. Um, but I don't know, like, how do you guys want to start? What, like, I know, Samantha, when you hopped on just before this, you're like, ah, like, I'm feeling like, whoo, there's a lot going on. So like, take it away, Samantha. What, well, do you, like, what's going on? Oh, well, be between the chemtrails and our state. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot, it's very overwhelming, you know, yeah. it's, it's very overwhelming having to live every day, not knowing, you know, what's next, what's going to happen or is my, are my kids still going to be able to go to school or, um, you know, are we going to be, have our kids taking us because we are, we're not going to get the HPV shot. You know what yeah. I mean? So what's going on in uh, New York right now is or, is just mind boggling. I just I don't even how how they can pass that bill to allow you know ch children basically they are children to to have a, a medical procedure done without their parents' uh, consent. You know? Nine year olds, it's insane. It's insane, and I think that's paving the way for vaccines in schools right like go to the nurse's office get your hpv vaccine mom dad don't need to know i like that is my future prediction um it's crazy i know here in california sb276 it's going to take the ability for a, a doctor a legit medical doctor to write a medical exemption all of our medical exemptions will fall by the wayside we'll have to reapply but really like there's only two contraindications that it will be allowed and that is anaphylaxis shock and what is the other one um the other one <laughs> and encephalitis yeah encephalitis yeah and and that's and that's and that's for one vaccine after you've had the reaction so it's insane right. mary like what's going on up in oregon i know you guys are fighting yeah, hard that's the same thing in oregon um we're on the verge of um well it's fast tracking um it's the most restrictive vaccine mandate in the country. Um, we already have that. Um, we basically will have no exemptions because in Oregon, medical exemptions are ex exactly what you said. Um, you have to have the anaphylaxic shock and encephalitis, and it's really, really hard to get a medical exemption. So it's pretty much like taking all exemptions away. Um, we it passed the house now it's um sitting on the senate floor and it's kind of in queue and they're going to be voting on it the public does not get to vote um and so it's just really stressful times here for families that are for medical freedom uh religious freedom mm -hmm. um we're just kind of waiting uh to see what's going to happen and of course we're contacting our senators and we're showing up at the capitol and we're rallying because um our choices will be pull our kids out of school and homeschool or move out of the state. Right. Um, because we're not going to comply. <laughs> um, and it's all or nothing here in Oregon. If you're missing just one vaccine, if you, if you don't want to do the HPV vaccine or you're not on board with the hep B vaccine, um, you are out of school. You cannot participate. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, um, a lot of my focus right now. Um, just fighting for medical freedom, and just waiting and <laughs> to see what's going to happen here in Oregon. And of course, there's a lot of corruption going on behind the scenes and kind of the same as California with uh, Senator Pan. Um, so, yeah, it's it's stressful and um, maddening. <laughs> That's just it. Like us women, us moms who were we were not looking to get political. We're not looking to be on the front lines. We are happy being parents at home, having our rights, you know, selectively vaccinating if that's what people want. But like when the government far overreaches and tells us what to do to our children, that's when we step up. And you're exactly right, Mary, like us educated people who have done our research, we've put in the work to know what's in those vaccines and and the adverse reactions. And we've read the package inserts and we've gone to those the CDC website where all this information is. And we're just, we're not okay with it. And so uh, there are so many 
of us who will not vaccinate. So what then? Then, yeah, exactly. Like we homeschool, but I can foresee in the future, you know, getting a knock on the door. Here's CPS or here's you can't go to your soccer game or you can't go to the grocery store. You can't go here. Like it's just going to be segregated, segregated, segregated. So I get like Samantha, I get your like your unrest. It's it's a very strange time in history where our rights are being taken away and a lot of people are just asleep. They don't even know this is going on. So I mean, so that's a big reason I want to transition into this is the reason. Yeah. I just want to make a correction real quick because oh. um, I did say the HPV vaccine that is not required for school here in Oregon. So just wanted to make a correction on that, but I was just bringing that in there. Um, it's not on the table. You don't have to have the HPV currently right. to go to school in Oregon. Um, I foresee that for the future, but currently you don't. So I just wanted to correct that real quick um, because I made a miss um, statement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's just the thing. This opens the door, like 200 vaccines in the pipeline in production, this perfect business model where vaccines are mandated, there is no liability, boom, trillions, and pharma just walks to the bank. Um, so like I, I do foresee HPV is going to be thrown in after this law passes. And what a, I heard there's like a Lyme disease um, or a Lyme vaccine in the works. I heard there's an autism vaccine in the works. There's a Are common cold vaccine in the works. Like, really? It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. What, wow. And that and this is the reason why typical women, typical parents, we are rising up because like, are you kidding me? It blows my mind that this is happening in our government in the United States of America. It's, it's ridiculous. Okay, <clears throat> so let's transition. Like this is the exact reason why I am committed to owning a business and building an online business, right? Like so that, so that if I have to pick up and move, I can. If I need to homeschool my children, I can. If like we need to do something all of a sudden, I have that flexibility and I have the finances to do it. So Samantha, like what you are a 10 K affiliate, you are making, like I saw your paycheck uh, last Thursday. You are making what I made as a teacher. I was a teacher for 12 years. Like what is this doing for your family? What is your vision? How are you feeling? Fill us in. Well, like you were saying, you know, we, uh, we moved back to California a couple years ago um, because we wanted to be back here. And now with everything that's going on, uh, we may have to move again. But my husband travels all the time. He travels not like six, six, seven months out of the year, which means that, you know, if we go to another state and he's predominantly, he works predominantly in Los Angeles, then I'll never see him. Right. So mm -hmm. I, I was like, I need to find something that will be basically will either he'll be able to choose like when he wants to go away to work or if he doesn't want to have to go away at all. And yeah. so, and then we can move somewhere else and then we can have that income um, to hopefully replace his at some point. And then on top of that, um, so that we can have the freedom to do what, you know, what we need to do, you know, right. um, because also living in California as is, is ridiculously expensive, even for the, you know, middle upper class, <laughs> like yeah. it's, it's or middle class, but, but still it's, it's, it's ridiculous. So, yeah. um, yeah. And just having the freedom to just, like you said, just to choose to decide if, where we want to go, if we want to stay and if we just stay, if I decide to homeschool again, cause I've homeschooled before, mm -hmm. um, which I was at my girlfriend's house last night and she was trying to convince me to homeschool. <laughs> and I, you know, I think it's a great thing. Her kids are already on to like, you know, eighth grade math and they're fourth grade. So wow. anyway, that's a whole other yeah. story. But, yeah. um, but I, but I just, I don't know. I'm just not ready to do that yet if I don't have to. <laughs> right. Right. So yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. Perfect. So if you guys are just topping on, I see there's some viewers. If you have specific questions for us, anything goes <clears throat> and like literally anything, like pop your questions in the comments, but okay. So Mary, same thing. Like you are a mom of three. Your, you know, your son has some special needs, some sensory issues who you have, you know, you've been working hard with him. You are a real estate agent. You are like, you are on track to be a 10 K affiliate. Um, Tell us, like, what, why do you do what you do? Like, is this easy? And what is your, what is, like, what has your journey been? So, um, 
so yeah, I'm kind of all over the place right now. Real estate, um, fighting for medical freedom, doing my CBD business. Ultimately, um, my, I'm building my business. Like you said, I'm almost hitting 10K and um, I'm my, I'm trying to hit 25K, but um, I, I'm my, my income's increasing. And the goal is to um, have my CBD business just take over and be able to focus on that because it gives me the freedom. Like you said, I mean, if this bill passes in Oregon, we're most likely going to be headed out of the state. Um, so it gives us flexibility to be able to do what we need to do. And ultimately, I want to re retire my husband so that we can have flexibility. We can do what we want and um, not be dependent on schedules and be tied down to a location. And um, so, yeah, it's just... Um, that's my goal. And I'm, I'm working towards that, especially more aggressively now because we're kind of, um, the clock is ticking. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah. And it, it's just nice. Um, owning your own business. It's kind of, you have to do that nowadays because there's no such thing as the American dream where you work for a company and you get your, um, benefits and your healthcare and in your, like it, it's just it's non-existent you can't you can't depend on working for somebody else anymore you kind of have to start your own and um and pretty much the sky's the limit when you own your own business and so um just gives you flexibility time freedom and yeah that's right it's our way of escaping the matrix escaping exactly. the system right of a job that you work so hard at, you leave your family for, you sit in traffic for, that you have an income cap. Um, but you guys, you like you two are prime examples of like two committed people because network marketing is not easy. Like many people quit or don't find success. Um, but you guys, I mean, some characteristics I noticed about you guys, you are coachable, you are committed, you plug in, you, um, you, you, you commit to learning new skills, you commit to personally developing yourselves. Um, but let's talk about some like objections that we, that we hear things like, I don't have the time, or I tried it before and I wasn't good at this, or I don't want to put myself out there, or I don't have the money. Like Samantha, what what do you hear <clears throat> from your end? I, t talk about some of those ob objections that you've heard. All of those, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you know, I, honestly, like I had, you know, I I have no background in sales or marketing. I was a hairstylist for thirteen years before I got into network marketing, but. I believe that people, you know, if you love something and you share it, why not get paid to do that? Mm -hmm. And so people will say, well, I'm not a salesman. I don't want to be salesy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to push people. You know, I don't like to be pushy. And I'm like, well, then don't. <laughs> like, you yeah. don't have to, you know, yeah. why don't do that then? Um, you know, um, but yeah, most of it, most of it's like, I, I'm not a businessman. I don't have any experience. Um, I don't know enough people. Uh, yeah. you know, or it won't work for me. Like you said, I, I've done it before. And I feel like this is, a, I mean, not to say that our company is different, but I feel like it really is. And also our tribe is so different than anything else. I really feel like we are an actual team. Whereas mm -hmm. my last company I was in for almost five years, I always felt like really alone. I didn't really feel like I had this like camaraderie, how do you say it? Camaraderie. Camarader I can never say it. <laughs> My speech impediment. I can't say aluminum. Oh, I did it. I said it. Um, anyway, so I feel like there's a real great, I just feel like we are so connected and there's this great feeling behind that too, which I think really helps um, that I've never experienced before too. So yeah, yeah. Mary, same question to you. Like you have several people under you who are really serious about growing their business. What do you notice about those people versus some people who are kind of fizzling out? Um, they, they show up and like they're coachable. They're tapping into the training and our tools that we provide. I mean, Elaine is amazing leader. Um, we, the amount of tools and um, training that you supply us is phenomenal. Like I've never had that before. Um, so yeah, just showing up and putting in time and it doesn't, I mean, <clears throat> You can work it as little or as much as you want based on how your schedule is, but it's just um, showing up and just um, sharing it with others. I mean, if, if you're if you're taking the product and you're getting great results from it, I mean, you're going to tell so many people. And um, so, yeah, it's just 
a matter of tapping into the resources and applying it. Yes, yes. We kind of, we jumped over, we went from medical freedom to business. We kind of jumped over like CBD and, you know, that whole thing. I'm, I'm assuming like if you are in our networks, like you know what CBD is. I'm hoping that you guys are educated and you know what to look for in a quality CBD because guys, I, I mean, we've been, between the three of us, we've enrolled a lot of people and I'm sure you guys have the same stories, but I have people sending me screenshots of the CBD they were using and there are, are serious like fillers and, and the companies are not transparent. So you don't know like if what is in that bottle is really in the bottle. So Samantha, like what are you noticing about people coming to you for product and are they, are they, get, I, don't, I don't know, talk to us about the product. Well, a lot. Yeah. You know, it's funny because, um, ha ha ha. It's funny. I always say that. It's funny. It's not that funny, but people do, they message, they, they reach out to me all the time asking, you know, people, complete strangers that I'm not, not strangers, but you know, people that have seen a uh, post of mine from a friend of theirs. Right. So, um, a lot of people are wanting relief and they've tried other CBDs that, like you said, that had stuff in it. And so I always say like, well, what, do, what have you used? And send me a screenshot of it. Mm -hmm. And it is incredible that they, like a lot of these companies are putting like sugar or like sucralose or like other things than, you know, or random other fillers that are unnecessary, but people are having such great relief and, it's, it's crazy. It's totally yeah. crazy. I just, I'm like, I don't know. I just, I yeah. get excited because people, again, someone not having to reach out, like no cold calling, no cold messaging. No. People no. come to me because they want it and they need it. And we have the solution. So it's yeah. been really a great, getting great feedback every single day, you know? So yeah. It's been good. Totally been good. Agree, agree, agree. Mary, like you can take this where you want to take it. Do you want to talk about what sets Hemp Works? So we are affiliated with Hemp Works. It's a two-year-old company, debt-free. Um, it grew 1,100% in the la in 2018. It was named the fastest growing network marketing company. There are multiple, multiple, multiple reasons why we all chose this particular company. Um, it did start with a product experience for me. I didn't come in for the business. Um, but what I'm finding is that some people are absolutely just coming in for the business because they see this opportunity. And some people, like, I forget, I think Mary was saying that they have their product experience. Oh, no, Samantha was saying this. And then they switch their account over for $20, one time $20 fee to be an affiliate um, because they have such a life changing product experience. So, Mary, you can either touch on like what sets hemp works apart and, and, and go through that about our CBD oil or just what yeah. you see this vision, like what, what do you see happening with hemp works? Well, there's so many things that set us apart. For one, the leadership, um, the owners of the company are amazing. And um, so the leadership, the product, uh, we, we definitely have a superior product. Um, third party testing, uh, two to three ingredients. Uh, it's organic. Uh, what else can I, so if we have the U S hemp authority, um, labeling on there, which is really difficult to get, um, our, our company has that. And also, um, Jen Canna has that as well. So we're kind of on there twice. Um, yeah. And, and our product works. I mean, a lot of people use these other CBDs and they get, they don't get the results that they're looking for. And then they come to our CBD and then they start to see the results. So it, it's just, um, the product, it works and, and, and people are responding to it. Um, it's funny because I just saw that, uh, CBD is going to be offered in bed, bath and beyond, which I thought was pretty hilarious. Yeah. Um, but you, you just have to know what to look for. Definitely look at the ingredients, um, know where it's sourced. Mm -hmm. Um, if, if there's transparency in it, um, like I just, a, a friend of mine tagged me in this, um, article that this, um, grandmother got arrested at Disney, for she had CBD. Um, I don't know how they noticed it, but they found CBD on her. And when they tested it, it was over the legal limit. So um, it, I mean, you just have to know who you're buying it from um, and, and the ingredients in it. And um, mm -hmm. obviously, like, with hemp works, you're not going to run into that issue of taking it and, and end up getting arrested because it's all of a sudden illegal in that state. Like, that's just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, it's just, we're, we're just a better product and, um, 
I did not know that about the grandma from Florida, <laughs> the reason why she got arrested. Like I, I saw that article going around. I never delved <laughs> into it. Um, but wow. Yeah. You got to know what's in your oil um, because I've traveled domestic flights and I've, I've had people travel to Costa Rica and Mexico with their oil. No problem because hemp works guarantees, you know, the, the THC in the oil is 0.03% or less. And that is fine for the legal limit. Um, what really excites me also about hemp works is the vision and what is to come. We just got uh, information from our CEO, Josh Wagle that we, we have international expansion coming. So I'm like crossing my fingers for Canada and yeah. maybe I mean, more bigger and more products. Products are in development and not just products. It's not just like, let's load, let's load people with products. It's like products of integrity sourced well with clean ingredients that we can trust, that we feel good about sharing with other people. So like this for, is the, the company to partner with for so many reasons, those reasons, and just the culture of people who it is attracting. Like when I look at, I mean, our Empire team specifically, but also like other teams and the people who were at convention that we got to connect with is just really great people from all walks of life who have a story, who's this CBD oil has shifted their health. And um, it's just really exciting to see what is happening. Um, let's, let's last little question here. Let's just touch on mom life. Like, because I think a lot of people out there, we haven't gotten any questions that I can see you guys. So, oh, oh, shoot. There are questions. Yay. <laughs> um, <laughs> or there's people, let's see, there's people who commented. Sorry, guys, I did not. Um, Moisha says, how do you compare it to Quicksilver Scientific CBD? So I don't have experience with that brand. Do you guys? Mm -mm. I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, I don't know. We don't go into like I do have some comparison charts that, that kind of touch on different CBDs, but I don't go into delving into research other CBDs. I'm I'm not saying that there aren't other great CBDs out there. There are. There's other CBDs with that certification. There's other CBDs that are legit. Um, but this CBD hemp infused product line has an amazing opportunity attached that is changing our lives in more ways than one. Like. Mm -hmm. Ridic like ridiculous. So Moisha, the, the Quicksilver brand could very well be good. I don't know. Another Let thing that we offer is the 60 day money back guarantee. So there's really no risk in trying it. It's empty bottle. So if you did try it and didn't like it, you can return it. And I've been, I've been with Hempwork since June and I've, I, I haven't had anyone return anything yet. <laughs> I mean, maybe like one person. So mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, the product works and people love it. So yeah, same. And don't buy your don't buy your CBD on Amazon, please. Yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> or Bed Bath and Beyond. Or, or Bed Bath and Beyond. Station. You're gonna see CBD pop oh. up everywhere. It's right. Oh, it's yeah. like this new market. This movement is here. Just because it says CBD doesn't mean it's healthy. Just like yeah. organic. Just because it says organic doesn't right. mean it's healthy. Like people need to research. We're at the day and age where you cannot just trust like anything right the the news the your pediatrician your 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 school system like it's time to ask questions right. and take responsibility for the choices that you're making yeah, yeah. definitely all right oh so we're, we're back into mom life like okay samantha how do you balance it all like i do think balance is this like illusion i, I don't really believe in balance no. how like you are running <laughs> a, a, a worldwide business you are a mom of two you are active like how do you do it i don't know <laughs> lots lots of this <laughs> cbd coffee I was, yeah. i'm sorry guys <laughs> i was so tired this morning and i woke up i'm like okay i got 30 minutes i gotta get my coffee okay feel better i'm awake um yeah. i don't know you know what I, especially for someone myself i i definitely i was like diagnosed with add when i was like 12 I think it was 12 so I definitely have concentration concentration issues can you tell oh shiny I'm totally all over the place but if I can do it anyone can do it and that's all I can say so yeah. I try to find some kind of schedule I have a calendar because I need calendars for my calendars even though my husband writes everything down and I'm like so are you leaving today or tomorrow he's like look at your calendar I'm like oh yeah um 
So I try to stay focused. I try to have my things in an area and do the same thing every day. I'm a person of like repetition. Like yeah. if I can just keep doing the same thing over and over and over, then it keeps me situated, you know? Um, mm -hmm. But I am not one to like to wake up too early unless I have to take my kids to school. <laughs> As you know, I'm like, oh, I'm just waking up now. Um, so I like that I have the flexibility where except for during the school week, if I'm not taking my kids to school or my husband is, I can sleep in. Um, and then I just kind of stay focused with what I have, my day-to-day -day list of what I do, my, you know, um, and just trying to stay focused, which is really, <laughs> but thank you CBD <laughs> for that, because it definitely helps me kind of like stay focused. Um, but I appreciate your honesty. I mean, yeah. like you don't have to have it all together. Like my, my experience started with network marketing and, and being a business owner started four years ago. And I was a, a hot mess then. And, and just like you, like, you know, you learn new things along the way, you commit <laughs> to the process. And if Samantha can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Samantha's no, amazing. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. No, but no. you are, you're an amazing leader. Yes. Thanks girl. Same yeah. thing, Mary. Like yeah. you have so many hats to put on. You are juggling everything. How do you do it all without getting overwhelmed and giving in? Uh, well, I do get overwhelmed. <laughs> I do have a lot going on. I'm kind of like Samantha. I just, um, I, I just try to tap in every day. I'm, I'm working on. I have a um, daily checklist that I'm trying to tap into so that I can at least stay on track. Um, but it's a juggling act for sure. I mean, um, right now, um, two of my kids are in baseball, and my my husband's coaching two teams, and so um, three to four days. Th three to four days and nights out of the week, we're at baseball practice and getting home at 730 and having to rush and do dinner and, and just like, um, so I just find pockets in my day to um, work on my business and to um, try to protect medical freedom in Oregon and um, try to stay on top of my real estate duties. And, and it's a juggling act for sure. Um, mm -hmm. I have a lot on my plate, but I'm, um, I just go day to day. <laughs> And despite like both of your guys' busy, busy schedules, it has your businesses, and correct me if I'm wrong, have consistently grown every month. Yeah. Right? In exactly what you're saying, like the pockets of your day. This is not something you have to have a four hour block of time to put in every day. Like we we are busy people, lives, family, jobs, like, but you fit it in. And I always say, like, to people who come to me saying, I don't know if I can do this choose your hard like for hard for me a couple years ago was waking up well waking up at 5 a.m maybe getting a workout in taking the getting the kids to school i was a teacher i was gone i was teaching other people's kids the majority of my day getting home barely able to put dinner on the table feeling exhausted feeling overwhelmed feeling i was like i wasn't there for my kids like that was hard this Yes, like there's skills to learn. It's, there's a lot of moving pieces to being a business owner. But this in comparison to not having my time freedom and financial freedom, that was hard. Do you guys agree? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. 100%. It's hard. Yeah. And it depends on what you want. Like everyone has choices, right? Like, and I used to be the, that person that would make the great uh, excuse. Like I can't do it. I don't have time or mm -hmm. I don't have this and that, you know, but everyone has the same choices. You know, we all have the same choices and yeah. we can, it's just about making that decision that you want to do it. You want to be successful or, you know what I mean? When yeah. you have, when you have no other choice, but to, to make, to make the right, to make that decision, yeah. then you're going to make that decision. So I don't, I hate that using that word like, oh, there's no excuse, but there's really no excuse. If that's what you want, then do it, you know, and right. anyone can. And I love that because you don't have to have, it doesn't matter what color you are, what religion you are, what background you have, what education you have, where socioeconomic, you know, life or in a position life you have, like it's, it doesn't matter. You have, it doesn't matter. Everybody right. can do it and everyone has the same potential you know if, yeah. if they if they do it if they work their butt off for sure we all have the same opportunity it's not like oh this person got in first so they're gonna make all the money like you can get in today and just um i mean depending on how hard you work you can mm -hmm. you can go to the top <laughs> so it's like it's nice because no matter where you come from your background um when you start everyone has an equal mm -hmm. opportunity to succeed totally Agree. And I always say like the reason why you say that you can't 
is exactly the reason why you deserve to, right? If I use my kids as, as an excuse, if I use my time or money or anything as an excuse, that's exactly why you deserve to do it. If you're saying like, I don't have the time because I work and I do this, like, how does that feel? That probably doesn't feel very good to say that you don't have time. So gosh, we're going to wrap it up. You guys like any fun plans this week or mother's uh, day or what, what are you guys up to? Uh, Not much. I <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, the weather's disgusting out here. It's like oh. super gloomy for the last week and super depressing. So oh, no. there's Vanilla Ice is supposed to play in my in my city, in my area, <laughs> which is pretty exciting. <laughs> nice. That's about it. Yeah. And what about you, Mary? Any plans today or this weekend? Um, Today, gosh, I don't even know. Um, yeah, I, I have I have to go to the office and and do some stuff. But um, and then this weekend we have baseball games and just kind of playing it by ear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, you guys. Well, Thanks. I know some more people have asked questions. We can go in and comment on their questions later. But um, love you guys. Thank you for giving me some of your time. And I mean, thank you for all that you're doing with medical freedom. And it's crazy times, but. But we're going to change the world. We are with the yeah. truth. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Take care. Bye.